You guys have seen us here with my car. You've seen us set some crazy numbers for Hellcat. So the proof is in the pudding that we know how to go fast with the Hellcat. That being said, today we're switching it up a little bit. This is a new build. You guys saw, if you haven't seen a dyno video, that was like about two videos ago or maybe the video before, I'm not sure. This car we just got finished really dialing in in terms of dyno wise. Now we gotta dial it in track wise. This is the proof in the pudding. Dynos are cool, they're great, but they're just a measuring tool to see how well your tune is interacting. So, Right now, what we're about to do is take the car out for the very first time. We are at a third mile racing event. What does that mean? 1,760 feet. So a little bit longer than the quarter mile, not a half a mile, but we're still gonna try to set half a mile type mile an hour numbers. Just as a recap, my personal car, fastest I've ever been here is 167 mile an hour. I hope to beat that today though, because this car has very similar setup. Mine is a seven liter motor, a 426. This is a 6.2. The turbos, you turn up the boost a little bit to make all the displacement you want. So we have his turned up a little bit higher than mine. Initially, we're gonna do a soft pull. Let's see where the car comes in. I'm gonna get some logs, send it to the tuner. We'll go back and forth. And we're gonna get this car dialed in today. But my goal is to be my personal time that I set. All right, right now I have the record for the fastest Hellcat to ever be on these grounds. I hope to beat that today with this Hellcat that I've been working on. So all right. You said we know what we're doing and all of that stuff. You said with Hellcat, but what you meant was turbo Hellcat. Yep, with turbo, doing turbo builds and stuff like that. Yeah. So. Who's in the pudding? Let's, no let's, turbos. let's check it out. Boys, here we are, man, back at your favorite spot, Pocono Raceway, man. We're gonna go very fast today. What's up, brother? Bring your checkbook. For what, what happened? What'd I do? Shit, like really pushing out oil, man. Right now, we're not focused on going fast. Right now, I just wanna focus on making sure that the car runs good. Facts. I wanna dial in the car to run good um, before we start turning up to go fast. Okay. Right now, I'm thinking we should probably hit like in the 150s. That's what I'm testing right now. If we do that, if we start out the day in the 150s, we're gonna go very fast today. Copy. All right, so if this first pass is in the 150s, we're gonna go start really fast today. Everybody start smiling. Really fast today. Oh, man back at your favorite spot Pocono Raceway man where we do roll racing I want to see something real quick see how much boost she rolling into let's see how she feels she feels good she feels very good actually nice little pull now right now we on very low boost but it feels good the car feels great actually I'm trying to see if I want to leave it here let me see something a little bit though the limit of the boost the over boost there we go we're gonna turn that up what's up brother bring your checkbook for what what happened what i do stand and burn out i rolled through it i was standing they said they called it and said you were doing a standing just watch make sure you're rolling a little quicker all right I, it's turbo so i had to let it build and then uh yeah and it looked more standing to them that's why they said something but i you know you're i'm good i won't do it i won't do it again make sure you roll a little faster. yeah no problem all right all right you want to run a single uh i don't care whatever if somebody pulls up that's fine yeah good deal where's your where's the challenger uh i'm di i'm dialing this one and this one is automatic so we trying to get this one get the yeah get the 10 speed yeah the 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 the, the, the six speed man is I still got a lot to develop with that car. This is, this is gonna be way quicker. Yeah. Shift anyway. Yeah, exactly. Hundred percent. Single car inside. Two two six. Thanks for coming out, man. You got it, brother. All right, let's go, guys.
check the logs. That was only 20 pounds of boost, guys. That was something light. We'll see what we ran on that first pass. But that should have been a good log. That should give us some good data. It looks like it was probably about 157, somewhere around there maybe. So we'll save that and take it from there. And then we'll start turning up after this. Shout out to Diablo Sport Bro, the logging capabilities. I didn't have to have no big computer. It's on my dash and we good to go. Ah, uh, that's my brother. He's calling to tell us what we ran. What's up, brother? Yo, crazy. How much? I figured that. I figured it was 155. That was only. That was only. No, no, no. I'm coming back to the pits. I got to check the logs and see everything, how everything okay. looked. Okay, so I'll call you. We'll meet you over there. We'll be there. All right, bye. bye. All right, not bad. So, first pull, 155 out the gate. First pull, straight out, straight off the road. He drove the car here. That's really good. And only on 20 pounds of boost. So, and that was with a very lazy start. I can definitely start higher than that. I think that was probably about. 55 mile an hour at 55 mile an hour in third gear that's way out of boost so it took a while for the boost to come in this car's gonna go pretty fast today man i definitely think we're gonna get that at least 165 today and for a first outing with a car that'll be freaking phenomenal hey y'all great first pull i told you that the first pull should be mid 150s they did what i said that was like 19 pounds of boost 19 yeah that was nothing crazy so we still got a lot more room to go. Yeah. It's gonna start moving real fast, real soon. Yeah, 100%. So, anyway guys, I gotta check the logs. I gotta send the logs to the tuner. I might raise the shift points on the transmission. It feels like it's short shifting to me. I gotta look back at the video clips to see if that's what I see. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there, all right? Damn, 58 mile an hour start, Mr. Steph. Yep. 155.2. So what you thinking, man? So I'm thinking right now the car is shifting at 6,000 RPM. So that was 19 pounds of boost. So not a lot of boost. And it's shifting at, like I said, it's short shifting. I think once we raise the shift points, I could run the same boost, start at about 62 mile an hour, and then the car will be in boost when I lead the line. That wasn't in boost when I left the line. I needed to be in boost when I lead the line. If I have it in boost when I lead the line, higher RPMs, I'm, I think we're gonna go 159 on our next pass. Once we do that 159, maybe 160 on our next pass, then I'll feel comfortable turning up the boost. Ultimately today, I'm willing to go as much as 27 pounds of boost. So we're still a long ways away, but I'm really happy how, to, how it's starting. It's going pretty fast. What does the stock red eye do here? 138 maybe? What's a full bolt-on car do? Injectors, pulley. They usually in the high 140s, okay. uh, low 150s. My car, for an example, when it was upper, lower, ported blower, 22 degrees of timing, killing it. It was, it was a 155 is what my stick car did. Full tilt with a supercharger setup. Running on a ragged edge. Running on a ragged edge. It was super hot that day. So it had a little more in it. But uh, for this car to come fresh off the highway and just me leaning into it, it's pretty impressive. About to go fast, fast. Yeah, I just got to talk to uh, Brian, the tuner, drag on tuning. I got to get these shift points raised. I'm shorting the, the boost like to really eat. It's not standing the gear long enough mm -hmm. to really allow it to eat. Mr. Dig Nation, how yep. we feeling? How we feeling? Come on, man. I'm I'm more than happy. <laughs> this is already this is this already passed my expectation of what the car was gonna be able to do today. We thought originally when we were first trying to go to uh, race motive, we were planning on running the car to be somewhere around this speed. But to start with this speed is, is, is speechless. It's it's it's, 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 it's you know beyond insane that these cars could do that. That these cars are even capable of doing that compared to what a full tilt Hellcat is doing around this, the same speed. And this car has not even been turned up yet. I was about to say the craziest part to me is a month ago this car wasn't running. Yes, and that's another thing. If One month back, ago. Look back, One month. If you look back at Steph's videos, he saved the car and uh, the car wasn't even running. It wasn't idling correctly. And it went from not even idling correctly a month ago to being able to put out 155 plus mile an hour. Off the street. Off the street with the drive that we just did, two hour, uh, almost a two hour drive. Heat soaking the car. It and came like out here and did that pass. Mod squad for life, sound like. Yep, yep. The sound like. <laughs> He's two for two on two these for two, baby. Yo, you know I'm a good guy. You yes. know I'm a good guy if my goal 
is to beat my time with your car. Yes. Exactly. Like, I don't care about, a lot of people look at that when I talk and I'll be like, yo, I'm the fastest one. The reason why I say that is because now it challenges people to beat it. Yes, and you and open the door for it. It opens the door, right? Yes. So now more Hellcats show up to these events than ever before. Yep. Right? And that's what I want. Competition breeds success amongst all of us. Yes. You know what I mean? It only makes and, and you're, it only makes you better. You're trying to push the bar for the platform and open the door for other people to be able to come here and and have high expectations for that for their Hellcats, uh, their challenges and chargers and and do these things. As far as other platforms like GTRs and and Corvettes and Mustangs, they have a lot of R and D. I might have to run it in track. I just hate our twin turbos. It's stiff in the suspension. It's uh, but I think I could put long way coming. Beautiful man, beautiful. I'm gonna say one thing. Shout out to Justin the Boy Scout. That's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> Shout out to the Boy Scout. Always prepared, baby. This man don't play. I like it. You never have enough. When it comes to racing, it's always better to be prepared than not be prepared at all. So father it's better, would to, say, better to bring more than bring less. My father would say, if you stay ready, you ain't gotta get ready. Yep. That's it, baby. Stay ready. Yep. Your car is not very loud, though. It's not. It's not. Got a new tune from okay. Drag On Tuning. We're gonna load that new tune. I got a new engine tune and a new trans tune. Uh, he sent me a new tune so that it'll shift in sport. Okay. I don't have to put it in track. I don't like putting the car in track because it makes the suspension too stiff. Yes, I do feel like And when it being so stiff, it's gonna spin. So I would rather keep it in sport, keep it soft. So he just it made it. the weight better. He just made it that it'll shift at 65 in okay in sport. Okay. Yes. So th these are the two files I have to load. Man, I tell you, drag on tuning is, is one of the best. Me and him, we work really well together. Like, like peanut butter too. and jelly. Nah, for real, for real. Like peanut butter no, and jelly. Now the secret is, I'll tell y'all the real secret. Steph has an engineering mind. Yes. Engineers get along well with other engineers. Yep. And the thing is, he's that, and I don't act like I know anything. I, I always act dumb. Yes. Right? Because he's the expert, not me. Uh -huh. All I tell him is what's happening. I'm just making sure it's loaded. And you're always, you're, you're always, you're willing to, willing to I'm learn. I'm willing to learn. That's it. I always want to learn. I just want to learn more and more because the more I learn, the better we'll get. You know what I'm saying? Facts. A lot of people, people they always wanna yeah. people yeah. always ask you questions and, and because you 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 have so much information on this platform. But it's only because of my mistakes, yes. my failures. It's only because of that. But out of mistakes and failures always comes success. Yep. hundred. As long as you learn from those mistakes and failures, you gotta learn how to lose yeah. to learn how to win. There you go. All right, guys, so we're gonna load this new, the new tunes in now. On the Diablo Sport, we're gonna load them in, and then we'll go back out. All right, it does. Yes. Gotta love that Diablo Sport, huh? Easy, man. Uh-oh, uh-oh, so it's looking like I'm about to lose my record today. Oh, I don't You're know. You're getting close. No, it's close, You're right man. there. It's close. You're right there. <laughs> this weather makes a big difference, yeah. huh? I wish I could run it weather like this, man. But I wanted to focus on getting this car done. Yeah. I think this car today should do like 165 somewhere around there. Depends on where you want to put it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't want to push it too hard. It's a fresh build. Like, just it's a first time out with the car. So, I'm gonna put it once it gets around like 165. I'm, I may try to push it because I want to beat my number. Right, right. What's your number? 166.85. 166.85. Holy shit! I go. With a, but you gotta have a clean start. Yeah, you know, it was 66.1. You gotta get under that. No, no, you know what I was? Yeah, uh, 66 below zero to six. Yeah, my start speed was like 62. Yeah, and yeah, I thought like I messed up because as I'm going to speed, I'm just coming on and off. Yeah. The, the key fobs tell me it's. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The and then boom. Yeah. Then I come back hey man, that's flying, like brother. Thanks, that is flying, man. Thanks, I think you guys got it today, man. Just slow it down a little bit, and you got it. Yeah. Yeah. That was me in the car. I put, I put Slim Jim in the car. Slim he Jim did, next, baby. Yeah, legit. Slim Jim <laughs> next. Y'all know me, bro. You beat that time, bro. I'm going to post that shit all over the Instagram tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> All right. All right, boys. Pass number two. Let's go out and get it, man. The car has cooled a lot. Only bad part is that means the tires cooled a lot. So I'll try to warm them up a little bit. I got in trouble because I did a burnout last time. And you're not supposed to. So I'm going to still try to warm the tires as much as I can. We'll see what happens.
event organizer, Mr. Steve himself. We close for lunch. No, no, no. We're doing the slow cars now. Oh, shit, my bad. I needed. We're doing slow cars. I needed another I mean, test pull, but all right. I'm trying to tune the car. Yeah, we're we'll going uh, every hour. Every right. other group. Yeah. All right, got it. So, okay. And then there's a sign right there that I'll let you know. All right, cool. Thanks. All right, boys, going out for pass number two. Do a little test hit to see uh, how well she hooks right here. Just kind of roll into it. She's spinning pretty hard there, buddy. I think I might have to turn it down a little bit. Can't have it spinning that hard. Because what it's doing is when it spins, it shifts to the next gear. And I lose a lot of momentum. So let's try this. Let's turn it down one. There we go. And then I'll try to... go we got it boys we got it okay so that's what we got to do and we'll work it up little by little okay oh no this thing guys is an absolute monster okay this is a aim 1400 horsepower porsche and this thing is so so fast technically i probably shouldn't even go next to him oh i don't think i'm going next to him i think we're good <laughs> yeah because that thing is absolutely bonkers but i would go there i would drive next to him for you guys just to see how fast it is man it is this car is fast it'll make this car look like it's not fast you know what i'm saying the only thing I don't like about waiting in line is you get a little bit of heat soak, which sucks. So, like, right now the car is warming up, obviously, because we're just sitting here. But it definitely felt good coming on to the back lanes just now. You guys saw what I did. Like, I, So, what I did just now, guys, was I started out in a lower boost setting, and then I hit it to go up to the next boost setting so I can get traction. So, that's what I'm going to do again now. Oh, I, oh, we don't have to race. No, I'm, I'm doing some testing and dialing in. Okay. So it works out. We don't have to race. It's fine. He wanted to know if it was okay if he started above 65. So he's going to take off. Uh, and I'm my focus is to be under 65 because I want a valid run. So, But we still might be able to. Uh, depends on how far out he gets on us. We still might catch him. It's a nice Audi S4. But it's like fully modified. Sounds really good too. I've heard him go by a couple times. And it looks nice. Nice orange wrap lowered roadie form wheels on it nice setup this thing sounds amazing it's like <laughs> i don't have a big cam like this so i don't get that cam sound that he has it's pretty good jesus this thing is heat soaking all right look my settings look good with the new tune i should be able to run the transmission in sport Suspension is in sport, which will give us a little drop in the back. Thinking about changing my, I'm gonna see how this one hooks. If it doesn't hook that well, on the next race, I'll put the suspension in street. You know you can hot lap, right? No, I didn't know that. Hot laps open. All right. Guys. The blue's gotta go in, but red can stay out. Okay, so cool. It's up to you. Thank you. I probably won't hot lap it though. but it still ran crazy. Wow, I missed the shift, but it still went really, 
really fast. Stefan, how the hell you miss a shift in the automatic? It's because I was focusing on the boost controller. I was doing too much at once. Why did the brake come on? Oh, probably because I was brake boosting too hard. The brake light came on. Let's see what we ran, boys. Let's see what we ran. It was 160 something. Yo, I spun my ass off, bro. 167, my friend. What? Yo, I was spinning like crazy, too. I hit the boost up too much by accident. But at least we know how fast it'll go. I think I'm going to go right... I'm going right back around, so stay there, okay? All right, all right I'm going to talk to you this day, too. All right. All right. Before we test it to go back around, though, let's see what our IATs look like. I'm going to wait for them to come back up. If they don't look bad, I'll go back around. Oh, they look good. They look good. He said I can go right back, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go right back around. Thank you, brother. All right, this time I'm gonna try to not uh, mess up the shift. Let's see how fast we go. All right, so before we go back up for another hot lap, I just wanna check a couple things. Shift is like really pushing out oil, man. Nah, I'm not comfortable. Hold on, let me see. It's still burning off oil from before. Uh, this breather was leaking onto the header. So I just want to make sure everything is good. Nah, I don't think I'm gonna pick it back up right now. Bro. I'm gonna let that, uh, this is burning too much. Yeah, I think it's actively leaking, bro. Yeah, I think it is. I'm gonna go back around to, to the pit. I don't feel comfortable. 